In this video, I'm going to show you how irrigation valves work. To begin, let's look at how water moves through the main line to the valves. Currently, water is pressured up in this main line and is stopped at the ball valve as it is closed. When I turn the ball valve on, water moves through the main line and fills the bonnet chamber above the diaphragm of each valve. The water enters the bonnet chamber via the pilot flow filter and the force of this water pressing down on the diaphragm holds the diaphragm in place. It is able to do this because there is a larger surface area of water on the top side of the diaphragm than on the bottom, i.e. the force is stronger on the top than at the bottom, thus the diaphragm remains in the closed position. When we activate a solenoid or turn a valve on manually, we are causing the plunger seal located underneath the solenoid to open. This allows water to move into the bottom of the valve. The bottom of the diaphragm now has a larger surface area of water than the top, thus the diaphragm opens and the zone turns on. There are three ways we can turn a valve on. The first is by turning the manual bleed assembly a quarter turn counterclockwise. This also turns the solenoid, causing a change in pressure within the valve, causing the diaphragm to open. To turn the valve off, simply turn the manual bleed assembly a quarter turn clockwise. The second way we can turn a valve on is by turning the bleeder screw a quarter to one half turn counterclockwise. Doing this also creates a change in pressure within the valve, causing the diaphragm to open and the zone to turn on. Tightening the bleeder screw will turn the zone off. Expect water to come out of the bleeder screw if you choose this method. The final way we can turn a valve on is from the controller. Each solenoid has two wires coming off of it, and they are connected to two wires. The common, which is the white wire, and is connected to every valve slash solenoid. The other wire is connected to the coloured field wire. The field wire tends to only be connected to one valve, however, you might connect more valves to it if you want multiple zones to run together. In this example, each of these valves are only connected to one field wire. Zone 1 is connected to the common and the red field wire. Zone 2 is connected to the common and the orange field wire. Zone 3, which is drip, is connected to the common and the blue field wire. When you turn a zone on at the controller, the controller sends 24 volts of electricity down the common and the field wire. When the voltage reaches the solenoid, the coil becomes an electromagnet, pulling the plunger up in the solenoid. This causes a change in pressure within the valve, causing the diaphragm to open and the zone to turn on. When the controller turns off, the plunger drops back down, causing the top of the diaphragm to have a greater force and the diaphragm closes, turning the zone off.